the first production run of our HO scale rivet counter and operator Multimax Auto Racks has just arrived. Let's learn more about these exquisite models now. The HO Scale Gunderson Multimax Auto Rack is available in both our operator brand and our rivet counter brand. If you're looking for prototypically accurate cars without a lot of detail that take some rough handling, that's going to be our operator brand. If you're looking for railroad road number specific details, that's going to be our rivet counter brand. Let's take a closer look at both of these and what separates the two. So the operator car is sitting in front and you'll notice it has plastic side panels versus the rivet counter car in back which has edge metal. The goal here is to create a value priced car in the operator brand. All of the operator cars are one size fits all. That means they all share the same body regardless of road name. And what that allows us to do is keep the price point low. When purchased in quantity, the operator car is as low as $39.99. So another big spotting difference between the operator car in front and the rivet counter car in back is all the plumbing underneath. You'll notice the triple valve and the air cylinders. There's no plumbing that's running in between the two as well as the brake linkages on the operator car. Now that is available in the detail kit. When you look at the rivet counter car, check out the underside. There's a ton of plumbing on the bottom of the car and all that of course comes factory applied. When we talk about road name specific details, on the Gunderson Multimax, most of the cars have the Railroad Herald painted on the big panel that you see on the car. But what's really unique is BNSF actually does a logo panel on the etch metal, and Norfolk Southern does as well. And we replicate that in the Rivet Counter brand as well as the Operator brand for the Gunderson Multimax. So the big difference between the operator brand and the rivet counter brand is railroad and road number specific details. So the big differentiator between the two cars that you see here, this is an early car in the front, the Norfolk Southern, and the BNSF is a later car. The easy way to distinguish the two is to take a look at the end doors. You'll notice the end doors on the early car are what we'll call angled, and on the later car they're stepped. Some other big differentiators, you'll notice the way that the brake hardware is mounted is on the inside on the early car and on the outside on the later car. As you look at the ends of the car, you'll see that the early car has a grab iron versus a stirrup step. You'll also notice a high mount ladder versus a low mount ladder and an additional grab iron on the later car. Now that we've learned about both the operator and rivet counter models, let's see them in action on Dave Hausman's spectacular Chicago, Denver, and Pacific Railroad. We appreciate Dave allowing us to shoot some video in front of his huge Ford manufacturing plant. So as you looked at Dave's layout, you might be wondering, will these work on my railroad? Well, we recommend an absolute minimum of 24 inches and really 26 inches or better will work best. To learn more about these cars and to place an order now, visit us at scaletrains.com or a select retailer. Until next time, thanks for tuning in.